In real estate, an impertinence is something that is installed in or sits on a property. It is something that is considered a part of the property, is sold with the property, and is passed on to the new owners. When we talk about pertinences, we are often talking about things that run with the land. A pertinence originates with the word appertain, which means to relate to, be appropriate, or applicable. Before defining a pertinence, it's important to learn more about the term real property. In real estate, real property is defined as immovable or fixed property, any property attached to the land and even the land itself. This also includes permanent fixtures within the property that are not personal property and easily moved. Real property plays an important role in understanding a pertinence. These terms are often used in a sales contract when a property is changing ownership. The terms have to be defined so that both the buyer and the seller know what is included in the sale. It's during the home buying and selling process when understanding a pertinence becomes very important as property rights are typically sold with a home and include appurtenances. Now that you know more about what the definition of an appurtenance is, the next step is to look at some common examples. Exterior buildings like a barn or a shed, a fence, in-ground pools, hot water heater, ceiling fans, window blinds if installed, fixtures excluding trade fixtures, cabinetry, furnace, existing crops, oil or mineral rights, a shared driveway, a tree, water rights, in-ground swimming pools, and of course, easements. Based on the examples above, it may seem like anything attached to the property can be considered an impertinence. However, that's not necessarily the case. Essentially, anything that is intended to stay with the home on a permanent basis can fall into this category. Likewise, if the item is attached to the property, it needs to be attached using a permanent method in order to transfer with ownership of the property. Otherwise, it will be considered personal property, which can be removed when the seller moves and someone else takes over ownership of the property. Remember that personal property goes with the person, real property goes with the real estate. Be especially careful when it comes to any easements that may exist. An easement is the right given to a property owner to use land owned by somebody else. This can be common when a road to a property passes through another person's land, but is necessary to enable access to the home. An easement appurtenant runs with the land, which means that it doesn't necessarily have to be included in the deed in order to have an effect on the adjoining property. For example, if you buy a landlocked parcel, you'll more than likely have an easement with your neighbor even if it is not explicitly spelled out in the deed. Appurtenances are important to understand as they can have an effect on landlord and tenant relations as well as that between a buyer and seller. As you study for the real estate exam, if you remember nothing else about pertinences, remember that they run with the land. This is Joe from Prep Agent, reminding you to keep it concise and keep it simple.